So, have you ever wondered why you have to wait like three years to watch a movie? I know I have. I remember waiting two years impatiently just to watch The Rise of Skywalker. And when I finally watched it, just thinking, wow, this movie's horrible. Why did it take two years to make this? And, you know, it never made any sense in my mind. I, I never understood why it took so many time just to make a movie. I used to think, what, this movie's two hours long? So it should probably take two, maybe three weeks tops to make it. But I've come to the realization that that's not the case. The process is actually way longer and harder than I thought it would be. It actually takes two to three years to make a movie. And this begs the question, why does it take that long? Well, my name's Ricardo, and today I'm gonna do my best at explaining why it takes so long to make a feature film. But first we need to understand the five phases of film production. The development stage, the pre-production, production, post-production, post and distribution. So let's start with development. Obviously the first thing you need to make a movie is the script. If you don't have a script, you don't have characters and you have no story, so you have no movie. So the first thing you do is develop your script. That's why it's called the development stage. So normally a, sc a script contains action, dialogue, characters, and lots more th things. That's why it's so important. But how long does it take to write a good script? Well, that depends on what type of script you want to write. If you want to write an original concept movie script that isn't based off of a book, then it'll take you about two to three months because you need to do all the things that I said. You need to have good character development, good character arcs, good action, good dialogue, etc. So usually it takes about three months to write a script, but it can take much longer as well. For example, the Nolan brothers took about four years just to write the script for Interstellar. That's four years just to write the script. And you can probably write a good original concept movie script in less than a week. It's not impossible, you just have to be a creative genius. So after you finish your script, you finish the development stage. And now you're ready to go to the second one, which is pre-production. But you're not special because lots of other people are in the same boat as you. Right now, there are currently hundreds and probably thousands of scripts in the industry that will never become feature films because to make a feature film, you have to show your, your, your script to the film studio, like Warner Brothers, for example, and they have to enjoy it enough to make it, which, unless you're Steven Spielberg, is gonna be pretty hard. Which brings me to pitching. Pitching is giving a brief description of a project you'd like to make to a movie studio. And although the pitch itself is brief, the follow-up, however, is not. Be prepared to possibly wait forever because odds are they're not gonna make your movie. But let's say they do. Let's say Warner Brothers call you back and they want to make your movie. Then you're gonna have to hire the film crew. And that's a lot of people. Orson Welles once said, a writer needs a pen an artist needs a brush, but a filmmaker needs an army. And yes, this totally holds up. The average amount of people on, in a film crew is about 200 people. No wonder the credits are so long. And, okay, so the first thing that you do in pre-production is the, dire the director will hire the heads of the creative departments. So he'll hire the cinematographer, the costume designer, the production designer, and each of these department heads will hire more people to be in their department and it'll keep growing. On the other hand, the producers will hire a UPM, which is a unit production manager. He's gonna be responsible for, you guessed it, hiring more people. He's gonna hire everyone that isn't in the creative department, so all the technical departments. He's gonna hire the people who are gonna hold the camera, the people who are gonna light the scene, the people who are gonna deliver your sandwiches, the people who are gonna take the crew to certain locations, back and forth. And aside from hiring all these people, the pre-production team also needs to set a, a shooting schedule and a budget for the film to follow. Usually, the, everything that happens in the pre-production phase is to make the production phase go as smoothly as possible. After you've planned everything and you're ready to start shooting the movie, you enter the production phase, which is the third one. Now, this is the fun part. This is when filming begins and cameras roll. The director yells action for the first time 
And the most important thing to keep in mind during this stage is to follow the budget and to follow the shooting schedule. So this is the phase where all those people are going to be working and they need to get paid. So time is money. If you make a mistake, you're going to need more time to fix it. And if you need more time to fix it, you're going to need more money. So this is usually the most expensive phase in filmmaking. It usually takes around three to four months, but it can take way longer or way less. For example, it took five months just to shoot Avengers Infinity War, but it only took 25 days to shoot Moonlight, the movie that won an Oscar. So it depends. After you've filmed everything you think you're going to need for the movie, you enter the fourth stage, which is the post-production. This is when the editor comes in and he puts the movie together. But what is an editor? Well, by definition, he's the person that cuts scenes together and puts the movie together, like I said. But he's also so much more than that. I like to think of an editor as the person that is going to be the first critic of the movie that actually has the power to change it. Not only does he have the power to change it, he has the obligation to change it because it's one of his jobs. Another one of his jobs, for example, is to ask questions. Is this subplot necessary? Is this joke funny? How can I make it funnier? And to answer them by cutting scenes together in certain ways. And that's what this phase is, post-production. It's an editor cutting lots and lots of scenes together in various different ways, experimenting, and that usually takes a long time. That's why editing is the longest phase of all of filmmaking, and probably the one that will give you the most headaches as well. It usually takes around a whopping six to eight months just to finish editing a movie. But let's say you, you, those six, six to eight months have passed, and you're ready to release the movie to the public. But it still needs to be distributed and released. Especially today, where there are so many different ways to watch a movie, you got movie theaters, streaming services, television, YouTube, etc. The where and when a movie will be released is very important, but it usually comes down to the quality of the movie. If a movie is good, it'll attract more investors, and more investor means the movie will be released in a better streaming service, like Netflix, for example. And it will also dictate the release date. Some other things that dictate the release date is the target audience and the movie genre. Let's say, for example, a movie is about Halloween, but it finished editing in August. Then it's probably going to wait until October so it can be released. Let's say a movie is based on a high school and the main target audience are teenagers. The movie's probably going to wait a couple of months so it can be released in the summer, which is when more teenagers are available to watch it. But it's not always marketing, though. For example, Marvel's Black Widow was set to be released in 2020. But because of COVID, it got delayed for one year, and it ended up being released in 2021. So it's normal for movies to wait a couple of months and maybe sometimes years so they can be released. As of right now, the new Marvel movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, is going to be released on December 17th. But in all likelihood, the movie's already ready and has already been ready for like five months. They just wanted to wait more to release it because of marketing and because of other marketing strategies that they have. But that's it. You finish the movie and the public wait is over. And that's it. Those are the five stages of film development. And I hope this helped you answer the question, why does it take so long to make a feature film? And why you'll probably have to wait about three years for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Thank you.